Hi guys, this is Chris and today we're going to look at Cloud Code from Parse. Um, cloud Code lets you build cloud-based functions which are accessible from your client-side Parse applications. And you might be asking if Parse lets me build everything on the client-side or at least they're promoting to build everything on the client-side, um, what would I need Cloud Code for? And hopefully in this video I can show you um, there are certain scenarios where it makes sense to put some of that client-side logic and host them on the cloud which in this case is um, what cloud code is offering um, and before we get started i'm going to assume that you guys have installed the the parse cloud code tool which is a tool which you install on your desktop or in your um, in your mac uh, or in a unix environment um, lets you um, create cloud code projects and then let lets you deploy them over to parse cloud um, if you're using Windows, um, you might be worried that you can't uh, execute some of the commands on the documentation that they provided. Um, I, I, so I put up a blog post on how you can install this on, uh, on Windows. And you can head over to chrispoggy.wordpress.com and look for um, this blog uh, post called Setting Up Parse Cloud Code Tool in Windows. Um, so that's that. And I'm going to assume that you guys have installed the tool. Um, go through the documentation. What we're going to do now is look at the Hello World example and understand what these files are for. And for us to do that, let's head over to my Sigma terminal right here. Um, let's look where I'm currently at. I'm just going to go to my parse folder and look at certain folders right here. And as you can see, there I have a My Cloud Code folder. Um, and this folder was generated by the parse tool that I was just, or the cloud uh, cloud code parse tool that I was just uh, mentioning earlier. And this is your project folder for that. And how you get to, how you create that folder is you, you type in parse new my cloud code. Obviously this could be any project name that you wish, um, which in this case I'm just following the real world example off of the documentation. And this command right here. Um, after a few prompts, it's going to generate this folder right here, which we are going to explore right now. So if I go to my cloud code, um, and you can see I have another cloud folder. Um, inside, you have a main.js file, um, which is where we're going to put the cloud functions that we want to access from our parse client-side applications. Um, obviously, you can uh, modify it using any of your favorite text editors. Um, in my case, uh, let's just open it up. Um, and this is what you get. Um, and this is the template for a typical Hello World um, cloud code application. It's very straightforward. Um, what this does is it, you know, it's defining a hello function which just spits out a hello world text. And that's how you do it um, with the main.js cloud code. And going back, how you deploy this is, again, straightforward. You just type in parse deploy. Um, so you can see parse deploy. And you need to make sure that you're in the project folder that you want to deploy. Uh, so it's smart enough to know that um, you're going to deploy this main.js if you're in that particular folder, inside that particular project folder that you want to um, uh, upload uh, to parse cloud. Uh, so I, as you can see, I have seven iterations of this, of, of uploading this file. Now the the other, the next question is, okay, I have my function on the cloud. How do I access this on my client side um, application? So I'm just going to use HTML in here, and I have a cloud code um, .htm. Uh, let's explore this a bit. This is the Hello World um, uh, client side. Um, uh, application so typical you have the initialize for parse and this section right here this simply calls the uh, the hello function that we just uploaded to parse cloud using a run command and if if it gets back something if it's successful it's just gonna um, put that result over here and then we're I'm, I'm just using an alert to show that something came back from from the cloud code uh, uh, function that we just uploaded so let's just let's try running that let's open that up um, I'm going to type in chrisismail.com parse um, cloud code.htm. So it's going to load that, and there we go. You get a prompt from the cloud code uh, or from the server side saying that hello world. So that's straightforward. Now, going back to the original um, 
scenario that we, we mentioned earlier, why, why you would need something like this, of course a low world example doesn't really explain that. Um, to, to get to that um, kind of scenario, let's say you have, uh, you're, you're building a site. This is the dashboard for, for bars and I have certain objects. It's a movie and then a rating and I have your high school musical and I have born identity. And these rows represent um, the ratings that people uh, put for a particular movie, right? So I could have several of these rows, or they represent objects uh, for a, a movie object in parts. Now let's say I want to average out the rating for each movie. Um, before Cloud Code, how you would do this is put the logic on the client side. Obviously, everything is, is on the client side with the original parts and do the computation on client side and how this might look like on your html file is, is something like this i have here a movies.htm and there's this javascript function right here um, which just averages out um, the the thing that you i want you to notice about this function is of course obviously we're querying for that particular movie um, and then we execute and then um, you're getting a bunch of objects right here and this is a very expensive operation if you're getting uh, you know 100 reviews and you might need to pull in all those objects and just compute the um, the sum and then do the average and let, let's just let's just try it out on on the web page right here and I'm just gonna change the uh, uh, I think it's called movies.htm and what's happening is, you know, you're pulling in all those uh, reviews from the, what you've seen on the dashboard. And there's a limitation. Um, you, you only get 100 max. So if you have like 101 reviews, you're not, you're not gonna get all that. Um, and the average rating is 2.15, rightly so, for High School Musical. And um, so the, the thing that you notice here is, you know, we're pulling all those objects, 100 in all, and, and averaging it out on the client side. Now. With cloud code, um, what the offer is, you know, you put this logic on the server, do the computation, pull all those objects on the server, and, and just spit out the, the number, which is in this, in this case is the average um, rating for that particular movie. And how that works is, let's go back to the, um, the modified uh, cloud function uh, for the average, uh, or for the averaging uh, uh, web page. So in here, um, you have your normal cloud, you know, uh, hello world template, and in this case, uh, this one is me adding in the average rating, or basically just shifting the the same logic that we saw on the client side parse application over to a uh, 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 cloud code application, uh, cloud code logic here in main.js. Um, so obviously, I have that. Now I need to redeploy this application because it's we need to overwrite the one that we just uploaded. And I'm gonna head over to um, uh, that particular folder right now, and then type in parse deploy. And this is gonna overwrite um, the the earlier hello world um, cloud code that we saw earlier. And as you can see, it's now V8. It says here V8. Okay. Um, so now let's let's go back and um, try out. Before we do that, let's look at the client side application or the JavaScript for, for you know how to access the average rating. Now instead of having the cloud or, or the average function on the client side, we're just calling the average rating function on cloud code. And pretty much you know all the code right here is more or less just jQuery, you know, and CSS stuff. And all the logic and, and whatnot is, is on the cloud side good side of this is that you're not pulling in all those hundred objects or two thousand objects for you to um, it's a very expensive operation on the client side so what you're doing now is putting that on the server side so let's just run this application and see uh, I'm just gonna add movies.cc so already have that application up on my web hosting and um, I think I'm pulling it yes I'm pulling in born identity good movie 3.4 I think it should be 4 uh, but is as, you know you might not have seen it but we're not pulling in anything from uh, or pulling ev the objects over to the client side but everything is done on the server side and we're just getting this value back and that's a lot efficient 
um, more efficient. Um, and the other good side to this is, you know, in terms of deployment, um, instead of you having to change your JavaScript, iOS, and Android client-side, you know, logic, you put you put that same logic on the server side, and all the clients will share that. So if you need to change anything, um, it gets redeployed to um, or automatically deployed to all those clients without you having to change anything on the client side. So it's it's really cool. Hopefully this was useful. Um, just to wrap it up, we've gone through the hello world for uh, the cloud code um, uh, feature of Parse. Um, you can check out the documentation for, for cloud code. Head over to parse.com and install the uh, cloud code tool. Um, if you need help on setting this up on Windows, you can head over to chrispogeek.wordpress.com and I have a blog post about you know how you can set this up on Windows. And um, finally, we what we did was show you uh, how or why it might make sense or when it might make sense for you to use cloud code for your parts applications. Um, hopefully that was useful and thank you very much.